Hi Wanna Music New Zealand, it's Maisie Peters here and this is my version of Cup of Tea at 3 with an empty coffee mug because I finished this like half an hour ago but imagine there is tea in it and imagine it is 3 Cheers! Who would be in my super group? Dead or alive, wow um, I mean if I can just pick anybody I would have to, I'm just gonna go with like Taylor Swift Dolly Parton, um, oh, this is just the funnest word, Beyonce, um, I mean, Kelly Rowland, maybe let's just make it like almost Destiny's Child, um, but with some yeehaw badassery in there. And then who's the last, who should I pick as the last person? Um, hmm, I don't, maybe like, I'm going for a girl group, obviously you can see I've just gone girl group. Um, Maybe like David Mitchell, who's this comedian from the UK, who's just really funny and I love him. What's one thing I know about New Zealand? Wow, what is one thing I know about New Zealand? I know that you guys have one of my favorite people ever. Uh, it's a girl called Phoebe, who goes by Navy, N-A-W-B-Y. And she's an artist and she comes from New Zealand. And I'm obsessed with her, I think her music's amazing. I think she's amazing, I love her so much. Um, and you guys were the ones who uh, birthed maybe? I'm not sure that's the right way, but she's from New Zealand and I love her so much and I can't wait to visit. I also know Lord of the Rings um, and Sheep um, and you have the best Prime Minister ever. So those are going to be the my, my holy four factor. My dream, my dream holiday would be, well right now I'd love to be in New York. I love New York so much. Um, or like I've got a lot of friends in Melbourne and in Brisbane and in Australia on the Sunshine Coast and I would love to go there. I've never been. My spirit animal would have to be, hmm, I think either like a hedgehog because they're kind of cute um, and unassuming, but they're also spiky and can probably cause serious physical harm. The first album I owned, I think was either like a Glee soundtrack, the Ting Tings, or now that's what I call music, or the Sugar Babes, or maybe Girls Aloud, actually, sorry, I can think of a lot, but maybe Girls Aloud, um, that was a classic. Favourite TV show would have to be... Ooh. Growing up, my favourite TV show was Suits, but now maybe it's New Girl, because I'm a sucker for Nick Miller, love of my life. My most beloved piece of clothing is probably, maybe my denim jacket. It's actually my mum's old denim jacket, and I wear it all the time. I bring it everywhere. It's done me so well. I've worn it for years now and I hope I never grow out of it. I mean, I won't grow out of it, but I love it so much. If I wasn't doing music, I think I would be a teacher. Um, I think I'd maybe be a history teacher. I was really enjoyed history at school and a lot of my family are teachers, so I feel like it's something that I would have like, fallen into. What's the best piece of advice my mum's given me? Well, uh, my mum is an icon and has probably given me so much advice. Mm, she's gonna hate me because I can't think of anything that says so much. Maybe, I mean, she's really drilled it into us. Uh, sun cream is important, and I feel like I've definitely retained that. I always wear sun cream. If it's even slightly hot, this pale skin is going to be slathered with sun cream. Uh, bring a coat. Never cast the clout till May is out, is a saying she has where she's like, essentially, it's not warm until May is over, and I really do believe that, and I bring a jacket everywhere. The best gift I've ever received, and who is it from? Oh, that's really difficult. Um, I've received a lot of lovely gifts. I would say my friend Emily for my birthday this year painted me. Can you see it? This painting behind me, hang on, I'm gonna get it. This um, of my cat, it's called Otis, and she made it for me, and because of that, it's super special for me. So, this, this ain't no John Hughes.